Okay, I'm trying something new. I'm going to try to do a YouTube intro. Usually, I don't do YouTube intros. I don't really believe in YouTube intros. I'm very much straight to the point type of guy. You know what I'm saying? It never really gave YouTube intros for me. But we're going to try to do a YouTube intro. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my page. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram. All of my links are in the bio below. And yeah, let's have a conversation, as you can tell from the title of the video. My family thinks I'm a drug addict, and I'm going to assume that's from my last video I posted about me taking shrooms and my experience. By the way, if you guys did not see that video, the link will also be in the description, or you can click it right up here. So apparently my family thinks I'm a drug addict. I don't know why. I just do shrooms, man. And usually I try to write down all my notes before i come on youtube and do a video but this time i'm going to improvise when it comes towards this family issue i'm going to just express it all and give my raw opinion about it number one i'm not a drug addict i only do two drugs well maybe three alcohol marijuana and shrooms i honestly need to invest into a camera because every time i'm in the middle of like a really really good statement my fucking phone decides it needs more storage, which is completely crazy. But I'm not a drug addict. I don't really smoke. Uh, I barely drink. People who know me definitely know I really don't even drink. Recently, I got into doing shrooms. It's a really, really recent thing. And to be honest, I feel like shrooms aren't the type of drug that you would want to do as recreational. It never gave party drug. It never gave any of that. Shrooms is definitely something that you probably want to do one, two, three times in your life. And never do again. And I only did shrooms be for spiritual for uh for spiritual purposes. I never did shrooms just to get high. If I wanted to get high, I could smoke weed. I never did it to get high. I did it because I wanted to grow as a person. I wanted to be a better version of myself. And honestly, to be called a drug addict by your family, that's a whole different level of crazy because these are people that you grew up with, these are people that you love, and these are people who you know, you expect to understand you. But when it comes towards things like shrooms and microdosing, especially in the black community, it's like, uh, you know, you're a drug addict. Instead of realizing, hey, maybe uh, it's working. You know, maybe uh, it's helping him. You know, I suffer from ADHD, anxiety, depression, you know, childhood trauma, everything like that. And ever since I started microdosing on mushrooms, honestly, I'm the best version of myself. I'm able to complete things that I never was able to complete before. For instance, starting a YouTube channel, if it wasn't for my microdosing and taking shrooms, I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel because I didn't have enough confidence to do that. It's crazy because you see yourself and you see your growth and you can't really expect other people to see your growth. Now, I'm not saying my fellow people, that you need to do drugs for personal growth. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying microdosing shrooms have, has helped me grow as a person and grow as a human being. I told you my first story when I did shrooms. I discovered that I'm a human being. Like, I'm a person. I'm a human. Uh, just one person. I'm not God. And when I discovered that, when I actually seen it with my own two eyes and realized how small I was compared to the rest of the world, I learned that we're all in this together, but one person can't change the world. I then started to shift my focus to myself and better myself because I've realized at the end of the day, the only person or the only thing we control, can control on earth is ourselves. And microdosing and taking strong, doing those things have definitely helped me. And you don't need to do drugs in order to find purpose in life. Once again, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I feel as if this particular drug, mushrooms, which probably will be the only psychedelic I would ever probably take, and I decided to do it for my own personal growth. I'm not a druggie. I don't even like really being under the influence. I'm already a naturally high person. And when I try to explain this to my people, my family, um, they looked at me like I was crazy. I said, you know, I don't 
take drugs. I'm not a drug addict. I'm just an overly spiritual ass nigga who wants to explore the universe. You know, I've always been fascinated in that type of stuff. I've always been a weirdo. Um, I always like weird stuff. I feel now, like I said earlier, no one has to do shrooms or microdose for their own personal growth. But I feel as if everyone deserves to at least try a psychedelic at least once because it unlocks certain things that you don't see in your everyday life. For instance, when people who are dying from cancer, when they take shrooms or when they take MDMA, they are no longer scared of death. They're they're able to honestly, you know, live again. I also wanted to add um, in that little section right there, psychedelics are not the end all be all for anxiety and depression. And when I said psychedelics were given to cancer patients to cure them of death, that's not really what I meant. I meant psychedelics are used as a tool that gives you a different perspective when it comes towards life's problems. But psychedelics are not the end all be all for every single situation ever. It's only a tool and it should only be used as a tool. So yeah, even though they're dying, you know, there's just so many things that go along with psychedelics. There's just so, it's a whole world out here um, besides the one that you low vibrational ass niggas live in. I just take this as a lesson that you can't educate people on things that they don't want to be educated on. This is a really sensitive topic because it is really common in not just the black community, but in all communities. You should do your research before you just say stuff because you never really know the person that you're affecting. And if I wasn't strong headed and level headed as I was, I would have took offense to that statement of my family calling me a drug addict. But because I'm level-headed, because I'm doing my research, I don't take offense to it. But I do say this. I understand the worry. I get it. I understand. It is scary. It is something that maybe I should have did more research on. Maybe I should have waited when I was a little... When I become a little older, you know, maybe in my 30s to actually try it. But, you know, I may die tomorrow. You never know. And honestly, I feel like this can become a career path for me. Like, I never was the type to want to do traditional things. I've always kind of been a weirdo. I'm fixing my shirt, you guys, because I feel like you can see my boobs. Um, I have never really been the type. A person who likes traditional things, I think it's so boring. Being a doctor is pretty fine. But besides that, I think majority of... I think it's all stupid. Being a shaman or opening up a facility for mental patients to start microdosing on mushrooms and other psychedelics seem pretty fun. And honestly, learn your history. Most of our ancestors... Did psychedelics. You didn't know that, did you? Because you didn't do your research. So this could be a whole career path for me. I'm not just doing this to get high. I'm doing this because this is something I really honestly I'm fascinated in. I don't really want to go to college. I don't give a fuck about going to college. I don't really care about going to college. I want to help people. That's my thing. Spiritually. I want to help people spiritually. I want to help myself spiritually that's what i want to do in my life but hey what do i know so this was a quick little video i'm just you know a little in my feelings tonight you know it's it's been a, a a pretty rough day but i'm managing to make it work so thank you guys so much for checking out my video this is a a, a new youtube channel so if you guys would like to subscribe to my videos subscribe to my videos if you guys would like to subscribe to my page, please do so. Please comment your favorite moment. Please like the video and please follow all of my socials. Once again, the link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video today. I'll see you next time.